so we've had a lot of questions on the Facebook page, and I've had some questions in my messenger about pre-op diets and early post-op diets and what to eat and not knowing how to prepare. And I just wanted to show you guys, I have a few of these in my pantry, and I think this is a really good option, these soups. Um, this is not sponsored, by the way. And this is something that we just like to eat as a family. A lot of times we'll pair it with a salad, you know, some cheese and crackers or grilled cheese or something. But these are two really good options. They are creamy pureed soups, as you can see from the texture. Very, very smooth. A great option pre-op as well as those first, you know, few weeks post-op when you're on that pureed diet. And they both have a decent, see the attorneys, decent form of protein and a decent source. This one is six grams of roasted red pepper, and then the tomato basil is four grams. So not a ton, but a decent amount. And then what you can do is if you have an unflavored protein powder, add one or two teaspoons to the soup and mix it in, and it does a really good job of blending in and you don't taste it. Or if you don't have an unflavored protein powder, just get a non-fat or low-fat dry powdered milk and add that to it. And that will also give you a few extra grams. Not a ton, but it can take this from, you know, six grams to 10 grams of protein, or this from four to, you know, eight or nine, just kind of depending on how much you can, you can mix into it. So this is great, really good ingredients. No frankenfoods, as some people like to say. Um, so there you go, two options. And these are pretty cheap. You know, I think I got both of these on sale. Um, I think they were less than three dollars each. So, and you'll get, you know, from a bariatric standpoint, you'll you'll get a good probably six to eight servings out of this, or you can just make it with your family and get one if you don't want to, you know, overdo it. So there you go, something to try.